Hey, Donald. Hello, Marina. Hi, how are you? Good. It's too fast for now. But uh, yeah, uh, just quickly, I want to let you know, I'm planning to run some game before we start. How do you okay. About? And we, probably uh, we are going to be two of us just to make people in ease to okay. start it. <laughs> okay. But this will let's, be fun. See, let's see how it goes. Okay. And uh, so today we expect this Sylvia. Let me check. Right I think we ask April, Mohammed, Ria, and uh, Sylvia. How is the weather in San Diego today? Um, it's clearing up. Usually uh, it's a little overcasty, but uh, now I'm starting to see blue sky. So it's the the low clouds, San Diego. It's probably going to get warmer. Oh, yeah. No, no way. Yeah. Where do you stay? Do you stay somewhere in the city or? I'm, it's my, my, uh, my cousin. We're, we're at our cousin's house, so. Is it in San Diego a little bit away? It's in Lemon, Lemon Grove, that area. Uh, Lemon Grove is uh, sort of I inland. know, I know, I know. I, it's like my first time when I came to San Diego in 2015, the end of the year. I used to rent a place over there. Okay, yeah, so, that's pretty. Um, yeah, a lot of hills, you know, a lot of, oh, lot of little, a lot of quaint little places. Yeah, uh, you know, San Diego's like people build on top of, I don't know, I, I guess if you take all that houses out, a lot of riverbed and um, um, you know the, the it you know it's like desert, mm -hmm. but everybody oh, yeah. pilled, built everything on top of these little hills, and um, I don't know most of the people I know have like a house that's you have to sort of drive up, um, and then they have a view of a valley or something uh -huh. from yeah. every one of those locations. You could see the Tijuana. So there's a hillside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to cycle uh, somewhere next to Chihuahua, uh, Mexican border this morning. Yeah, so yeah. And that guy, hi Ria. Hi, <laughs> I recognize Ria. Ria. She, she came on. Hi, I'm just adjusting my uh, position. Okay, yeah. not a problem. Hi. Hi, hi. It's and then I have, uh, have you ever climbed the, the, there's a little hill that everybody goes and climbs up there. Now you're into hiking, so it's uh, what's it, Henry Co. Or oh, no. Cow, Cowl's Cowl. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. This many people uh, tell me, uh, told me about yeah. it, but I have never been. in my uh, little issue, I okay. like backpacking, but I don't like hiking. But doing okay. backpacking, I most likely <laughs> gonna hike. Right. This is climbing a hill. I, I, we see people who are running up and down this hill. Oh it's yeah. Crazy. 
It's, it's like a mile and a half. Yeah. Are you planning to go there today? Oh no, <laughs> I got to get packed and get ready and get on the plane it's tonight. It's so. the time. And I, my, it, the startup that I'm doing, I, I've uh, got to get too. caught up there. So I'm, my my, uh, I imagine today all I'm going to do is read email, get caught up. So oh, when yeah. I when I get in on Tuesday uh, or Thursday um, in the morning, I'll I'll be ready to just move. People are doing things. Uh, I'm just yeah. texting April and trying to okay. uh, ask her if she yeah, uh, she's here. Yeah, I'll join you. Okay. <laughs> hey, April. How are you? I just text you. We cannot hear you. You're on the mute. Hi, April. We can. Uh huh. We can. How are you? So we're still waiting for Mohammed and uh, Sylvia. I don't know Mohammed phone number, so I unfortunately cannot text him. Oh, somebody oh that's there. right, it's not on the list. Let me see if I got it. Yeah. Hey, Sylvia, how are you? Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Hello. It's going to be a little bit busy here on my background, but this is the only place I can do it before my Fine. job. How is the job search going? Oh, with me? So, with yeah. everyone. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I have given a couple of interviews, but haven't heard anything of that. The usual story. <laughs> but, no. Yeah. Soon. Uh, I know, yeah. So I did this very crazy thing. Um, since I had time on my hands, I was trying to learn how to code. So, so I actually got into a coding boot camp. I, so that's the funny thing. I've never in my wildest imagination thought that I would do this because I have absolutely no coding background. But I have that as an option. Like if nothing works, then I'll probably join the boot camp and just get some coding skills. Yeah. Do you just, find it interesting? Uh, oh, sorry, what? How do you like it? Is it interesting for you? Yeah, that, so that's what I, I thought I would not like it at all, but it's actually not bad. I, I liked it. It's probably because the course curriculum was also interesting and because some, some of them are just very boring and dry. So there's a book in Feb. I don't know. I have time to decide. Like if I get a job in the meantime, I'll take the job. Definitely. So, uh, yeah. Donald, did Mohammed answer to you? Shall no, I don't. Now? I'm looking up profile and I can't find his phone number. And I thought he sent me that and I thought I updated, but I, I guess I did. How, how is everything with you, job search in April, if you want to share? Sorry, if I'm like. Uh, you're asking for me? And April and you, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, April, go ahead. Um, for me, my job search is, um, I'm shifting directions, um, claiming my um, uh, chief of staff experience um, and uh, starting to apply for chief of staff positions um, in uh, the tech space. Um, so I've sent a couple in. Um, haven't heard anything yet, but haven't started really networking around that yet. And again, you know, we all know that networking is a big part of how you get a job. So that, and then I've also been offered the opportunity, which I have accepted to, um, uh, through a career center, they got a grant to pay for uh, people's taxes and testing for the PMP. So. Not that I want to be in waterfall, but to really, for me, I think to really know and understand, be able to talk about, because I, I do project management all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm very good at it, but I don't have the lingo, right? So I don't, you know, like, what is the first phase of a project called where you're sitting down and you're planning it with? I don't know any of those words. Um, so actually, yeah. 
six credits um, through a community college starting in January. Um, so January, like January through May next year. So my hope is that um, I get a job sooner than later and, and I'll be starting a job before I'm done. So that's good. Good luck. Great. Syria. Yeah, for me, um, I my resume was too long and too wordy, so I reduced it down to the basics. And all of a sudden, I was called by a million recruiters. But it <laughs> seems to be some kind of scam. I don't know. They they call. It seems like a numbers thing for them. They've mm -hmm. got to get as many people as they can. And what any word that says project and management, all of a sudden you're qualified. And uh, so they all promise to get back to you and give feedback. And it's every single company you can think of. And then nothing happens. So I, I'm not really understanding it. I'm happy people are calling. They weren't calling before. Uh, but it's not leading to anything. So I actually got another one calling for Walmart. Uh, you know, you're going to do all this stuff for Walmart and San Jose or wherever, you know. And I told him, you know, I asked, I've been asking questions of them. Uh, mm -hmm. And basically, you know, oh, yeah, we'll get back to you. We'll give you feedback. We'll do, we'll, we'll advocate for you. And I said, you know what? I think I'm done after like the 21st one. I think I'm not <laughs> going to apply. And, right. uh, and he went, okay, bye, you know. It wasn't any kind, the others were always like, oh no, please, I'll really work with you. He was just like, okay, bye. So maybe it's happening to everybody and he's getting the same response and he knows there's no point in trying to. Um, the other thing is I went to a presentation over at ProMatch. Um, they do that every Thursday. They have a Thursday meeting. And the guy said point blank to people who were like, it's really hard for me to network and all that. He said, listen, we're not children. We're trying to find jobs. This is our livelihood. Um, there is no reason at your age that you should be submitting any resume that's not solicited. In other words, he opened up the door and made it okay to contact, for me anyway, I don't know about other people, but to contact anybody in a company that has a position or not, even to find out about positions that are coming up that maybe haven't been posted yet. Whereas before, we were all under the mindset of, how do you just call a, a director? How do you just call a hiring manager? How do you just call somebody out of the blue and say, hey, you've got this position, uh, you know, I'd like to talk to you about it. He, he made it okay. He, he literally said, unless you're a, a millennial and you they have a million networks and they've got their school behind them and they've got all this stuff going on at our age we should be it's not even networking it's literally call that guy up and prove that you've got the skills that he's looking for so he interview you and you're kind of forcing the interview just by making that call and you may get rejected you may not but at least you got somewhere whereas with these recruiters i'm not even talking to anybody except them right, right. so um I've started looking at that and uh, looking to see how to do that. And, you know, it's, it, you know, they have a lot of ways that you can find people and, and, and get in there and you look up the way that their emails in the company are set up and email them if you can't talk to them directly. Um, so I'm going to start doing that this week. Um, I've just been so busy. I mean, I'm, the more I try to do my job search, the busier I get with other things. So I don't know. It's also, that's another problem, you know, but I was thinking, I'm so busy. How am I going to work? You know, <laughs> but, but you know, at some point got to put those other things away and actually find a job. So keep you updated. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, you, so you will get there. It's num like num yeah. games number or never how you call it. And there's well, something no, somewhere. I keep thinking that maybe it's not gonna happen. You know, it's just I, it's I've gonna, my, it's I'm, gonna. Don't, don't, don't get really, these things in your really, head. It's gonna happen for sure. Just like I've had my run and I should just either retire or look for something else. No. Or I don't. Know. Just so it's a little get, frustrating. It's a little confusing, but don't but get there. 
Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you guys, the, the support, and I love the training here. And Donald, I'm happy we're starting to talk about burn down charts and you know, all that mm -hmm. stuff because I've looked through a lot of uh, Scrum Master resumes and they all blatantly put that out there. Able to report based on velocity, uh, burn, yes. burn down rates, and you know. It's, right. it's, actually what April, it's actually what April was mentioning. We are here trying to get this experience and be able on interview proof that we know what we are talking about. Yeah. So let's let's start our meeting today. We have uh, left some time and uh, since two members is not gonna join us, so we have more time. And uh, today I would like to start, try to play a game before we start our meeting. So um, it's coming holiday season. We all know that we will give a gift and receive a gift. So let's play this game. It's gonna be two people. We have to divide, like choose a partner for each of us. For example, um, I was thinking we can try to play with Donald just to show you as an example, and uh, you guys can choose a partner for you, or if you want, I can choose for you, whenever it's work for you better. How do you prefer? You should choose. Then, oh, yeah, you should go ahead and choose. Yeah. So this way is gonna be faster. April, how about if you go with Mohammed <laughs> and uh, Sigrid and Zria? Does it sound good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the play the game rules. Basically, um, person number A is gonna be gift giver. Person number B is going to be a gift receiver. As a gift giver, you have to um, think about any gift you can give to gift receiver. And uh, just think about it. And the uh, <clears throat> gift giver is going to say, I'm giving you, for example, bicycle chain gift and gift receiver, like, the gift can be like big box, small box, whatever. Just use your imagination. Gift receiver is gonna get a box with this gift from gift giver and open it, be surprised and say, oh, thank you very much for this bicycle chain. But the gift giver is gonna say, oh, I know, you will love it. I, I uh, give you this bicycle chain because, and you have to, uh, as a gift giver, say why did you give this gift to gift receiver? Basically, it's a gift giver opportunity to think about anything, why you give this gift. So who is gonna be person number A in the uh, team? Donald, Give between her. us. A, uh, are you A or B, Donald? Um, I could be the gift giver. I give it no, you have to say A or B. Oh, A. A? Okay. okay. So, person A is going to be gift receiver. Okay. Uh, and uh, how about Ria? Are you going to be person A or person B? I can be uh, A. Okay. So, A is, uh, sorry, A is gift Sorry, I'm I'm like kind of gift receiver, yeah. Gift receiver, yeah. Let me write it down. She's, A is she's gift missing. receiver. I get it. So and Sylvia, uh, so uh, okay, R Raya and Sylvia, you're together, right? Yeah. So you have to choose A or B, and April and Mohammed choose A or B. B. <laughs> Okay, so Donald, let's yep. uh, give an example and play this game. You're gonna be gift rec receiver. Gift, gift receiver. Okay, me as a gift giver. Uh, Donald, I'm giving you this Ferrari motor gift. What? Okay. Motor, uh, an engine for Ferrari. Yeah. Engine. Oh, okay. a Ferrari engine. Okay. <laughs> so this is a gift. Wow. Okay. So I'm opening it. I'm uh -huh. looking at the Ferrari engine. I'm going. This is awesome. I've always wanted a Ferrari. Now I got the engine. So, um, this is awesome. So at this point. 
you know, I could use this. I could really use this. I could push this in. And um, I'm thinking instead no, of a Ferrari. Sorry, okay. I have to. Uh, At this point, I'm excited, page. right? Yeah, you're excited. And I'm as a gift giver. So I have to so tell you why did I do it? Why did you give me this Ferrari engine? No, no, no. You have to just open a gift and say, okay. wow, I like it. And here I am. And I have to say, hey, Donut, I knew you would like it. I give you this gift because you, I, I knew that you had a Ferrari in your garage and you can, and the engine is like, for example, does not work and you can use this engine to replace the engine of your old Ferrari, something like this. I'm new to this game as well, so let's okay. just practice and uh, next turn is yours. Like, uh, you have to think about gifts which you can give to me. Okay. And give me a gift. Um, Just quickly, anything. All right. Um, let's see. You have 30 I seconds. Have to, okay. Um, I give you this gift. Okay, so I've got to name the gift, right? Okay. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you something like that. Um, anything. Look at okay, your so so uh, this is a jet engine. It's a it's a it's a custom jet engine. You can fit it in. How do you like it? It's you can fit it on anything you want, and go hundreds. You know, to the speed of sound, anywhere you want. So here it is. Jet engine. Yes. Okay, I'm opening a gift. Let's see. Oh, this is a jet engine. Thank you so much. I was always dreaming to get this gift. And now your turn, you say, why did you give it to me? Well, I gave this to you because I know you like to go places and, and travel. So I, I figured, you, you know, you could use it to get places quickly and uh, just attach to anything and you're on your way. And I knew you'd Thank love you this. Thank you so much for such a great gift, Donald. Thank you. You're welcome. So, re <laughs> Ria and uh, Sylvia, you are next. Okay, so um, Ria, I'm giving you for like part of the 12 days of Christmas song, uh, two turtle doves. And uh, the reason is because, uh, oh, oh no, wait uh, here's, my present. here's my present to you. Okay. So you, have, you have to open and be surprised and say thank you so much for such a wonderful gift and then look at Sylvia and Sylvia Village. Okay, so I'm opening it. Wow, it's a turtle dove. <laughs> Why did you give me this gift? So uh, I got you two turtle doves because birds are beautiful and you can actually take them out of their cage and pet them and hold them and train them. And you, I gave you two of them because they actually cannot live uh, alone. And so if one is in a cage by itself, it will actually die, it won't uh, live. And uh, because they are together, uh, they're always next to each other and they're always, in a sense, we call it kissing, uh, but they're always close to each other, grooming each other. And uh, if you're playing with them, they make you happy. If you're watching them, they make you happy. And uh, they're no trouble to keep or take care of. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, and now, guys, turn around and do the same thing. Ria, now you're giving a gift to Okay. Uh, uh, I'm, yeah, this is definitely not going to match up to Sylvia's gifts, but uh, uh, I'm going to give you a, a paper white kit. Um, so I'm sure you know what a paper white is, right? No, I don't know what you're saying. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Then there's some something that I can talk about. <laughs> no, no, um, it's uh, I don't I don't hear the the words. Oh, oh paper white, paper white. Paper white? Oh, wait. No, ah. white, the color white. Okay. So I sort of see all of us as paper white bulbs at the moment. Uh, so the paper white bulb is, a, is actually a bulb of a particular plant or a blooming oh. flower. And uh, these bulbs 
uh, can be stored uh, anywhere for months, uh, but the minute you touch it with water, like the minute you bring the bulb in contact with water, the roots start forming, the, the, the plants start growing wildly, and uh, you know, the flowers start blooming. So I think uh, this is only, uh, yeah, so that's my gift to you. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. I really like it. It's, I, I love this game. Just uh, guys think about something yeah, very crazy and uh, don't forget to say thank you very much for this gift and like kind of imagine that you open a box. Okay. Yes. And Just a small uh, addition. Right. And the reason why I g gave you this gift is just to remind you that we may have that stage where nothing is happening at the moment. Uh, I mean, we are all going through that, but the minute we get an opportunity, we are going to bloom and become so successful. I'm very sure of that. So yes, thank you. That's wonderful. Of that. So you can you can just Google it. It's it's right now. I think it's the season for paper wipes. You get the bulbs anywhere, and you just cool. uh, you know, put it in contact with water, and then boom, it's it's like then it just starts growing. Uh, Wonderful. Anywhere. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Awesome. Thank so, you. Ne next and last prayer, April and Mahanish, your opportunity. Hi, April. Yeah. Uh, hi, Afa. I have for you uh, the cover for your uh, uh, the, the cover for seats of your car. Thank you so much for this. I'm really excited about it. You're welcome. Um, I give this to you because uh, it's um, when you put on on your uh, seats. If there, this is like holiday seasons. We you go around if coffee or something uh, you put on them and then it's easy to wash thank you so much i will and these will be so useful <laughs> okay. and mohammed no. i have for you okay sorry i have a gift for you good thank you it is um, it is a desert cactus. Okay, thank you. I need it. <laughs> yeah. I need it to, to my uh, to, to plant in front of my house. Huh? Actually, my neighbor has one, <laughs> a big one. I'm really scared for my kids. It doesn't fall. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm really scared of that. <laughs> Desert cactus are really interesting plants. They survive on so very little in terms of nutrients um, and uh, intake, and yet they they uh, grow to huge uh, levels and um, abilities just with a very little tiny amount of water. And so they know how to use very scarce resources to make themselves bloom and be, be prosperous. And I wish the same for you. Okay, thank you so much. I love it. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I just planned this game today, just to think, like to go outside of our box but i just realized that this game is better to play you know not one after each other uh, but have 30 seconds and play immediately because uh what i have realized while we were planning this donald uh, the rest of the team probably was thinking about the gift they are gonna give and why they give but we don't need to have this moment you know to think this is the game like of thinking outside of the box and be able right. just to give something and right. like then why did they give this gift Anyway, let's start our meeting. Uh, thank you so the, for this game. So what the fun is the improv, improv, right? That's yeah. the whole idea. So, okay, cool. Next time, uh, if you have any ideas with some games, how we can start and uh, you know uh, collaborate, 
better with each other. Just share with me, and we will sometimes like play these games. Uh, yeah. So I wanted to ask today if any of you wanted to uh, do notes in Trilo board in PBIs, or would you like me to do it? I've done it before, so if nobody else wants to do it, I can. But if somebody else wants to take the opportunity who hasn't had the chance yet, I'm happy to let somebody else do it. Sylvia, Sylvia Mohamed. I have uh, Sylvia. Uh -huh. you I'm sorry, I was on mute. Do what? Notes in Trilla board, like in PDI. We are going to discuss uh, uh, product backlog studies right now and uh, do some notes, additional notes. Uh, would you like to do this notes or not? Yeah, bring up the Trillo board, uh, Sylvia, and then um, write in the, the notes as we move it to the to the you sprint know, backlog. I will, I will take this week to log in. To, uh, I would have to the, totally log in and everything. So I will be the one to do it next week, but I'll make sure I log okay. in and I'm ready. Okay. No yeah, I, uh, that would be good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So I I don't mind to doing this. It's just that I've never done it before. So maybe with some help I can do that. Okay. So yeah, uh, just uh, if you can share with us your sc screen and over three robots, we can start to do it and we will help you. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm having the same problem of the login. Just a second. Yeah, I have it now. So I'll just share my screen. Sorry about this. Just uh, small. Yeah, now just open Trilla board. Wonderful. So awesome. today we are gonna discuss discuss which uh, PBI is gonna go for this sprint number five. Also, we will describe define sprint goal and uh, organize and assign tasks. So don't don't. Can you go ahead and uh, like? Yeah, well, the, the yeah, okay. Yeah, the five are based on our sprint refinement. Uh, the first five, if we can get those into this sprint, that would be great. But first, uh, I want to be available for you guys to ask some questions. And before we get started, one of the things at the top uh was the you considering using the burn down charts so from our last sprint refinement uh there was a suggestion to somebody asked about a uh, doing a spike and i'm familiar with that terminology and i didn't even think about that but it might be good for us to understand uh what a spike is and i thought it's an excellent suggestion because we are not going to be able to implement this so how do we break this down? And that's a perfect solution for breaking this down so we can get, get this done in smaller increments because it's a big job. And one of the things, the other things I got between our uh, sprint refinement was suggestions, suggestions from the team of using various software solutions that integrated with Trillo. And I've tried a few and some of them were real dogs. They were really hard. Uh, and others were um, pretty sophisticated. So um, I think the spike would be a perfect environment. So, uh, you know, I'll go into the definition of that in a minute, but it's the perfect opportunity for us to compare so that we don't get bought, we don't adopt something that becomes overly burden, burdensome, costly, and so forth. So I put an update to that backlog item. It should be, I think it's one of the two top ones and that's good enough. So if you wanna open that up, I, I defined, this is the one probably I need to, to talk to you guys the most. 
in order for you to guys to get started and uh, for you guys to uh, be comfortable of moving it into the sprint backlog. So if you would like to open that, Maria. Uh, the first one or the second one? Uh, the second, second, second one. Second, 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 second one. Yeah. And this is also good for everybody because um, I'm going to start using this language of my, my, um, my teams um, because I got a lot of development members that are uh, doing this <laughs> and they're getting caught up of trying to implement it at the same time. And we, we, it's a really good, good uh, breakdown in, in uh, really for project management, their phases. And a lot of times you're going to be in a concept phase. So this is a great opportunity for a concept phase. And um, as I have here, I have, um, we're investigating the, the uh, spike in a comment below. Um, you'll see there's my comments. It defines what a spike is. So if you never heard of a spike, it's, it's exactly that. It's an opportunity for you to investigate the, the concept of using a tool or a feature functionality without implementing it, right? You don't want to implement it right away because if you run into something that you have to adopt as a team, you're stuck with it. You live with it. So you want to, in, in, uh, in, in Agile, you want, don't want to plan out too far. You want to be able to um, get to a point where you get uh, acknowledgement of a particular feature or functionality, and then you proceed from there. So uh, this helps us, um, a spike uh, prevents you from going too far. So in this, I'm asking for, um, so based on that feedback from the team, which is excellent, we can break this down. And I'm just asking for the definition of done is, uh, uh, you know, compare a few products, preferably products that integrate with Trillo. Um, and the limited, we want it because we're nonprofit, we're looking for, you know, doing this frugally. So something that could be, you know, just a user, um, base license that's free user license that has the minimal functions that we can use um, it could be uh, uh, let's see we i think there's a misspell um yeah simplicity that's yeah not not sympathy i don't know why that's in there but it has to be simplicity should have sympathy yeah for the user um, but uh, simplicity and ease of use are really also important because, uh, uh, again, we want to do things as minimals, right? We we'll just want to, to, so that's the job is to maybe come up with a comparison. And during the um, uh, acceptance criteria, you would have your comparison and you would, com you would show what, based on two or three uh, sprint solutions that we can try, those are the three that you recommend because they fit within that criteria. And then that will be accepted and it'll go on to being, let's try implementing. That'll be the next cycle of the sprint is probably a spin-off of this particular card. We'll close this and open up another one to implement or install or uh, train or knowledge transfer. Those could be the next steps. So that's how I thought, uh, based on thank you for you guys' feedback, this is our way to break this down. If you like that, you know, those are my suggestions as a product owner. This is how it would help us get, move forward. So that was the bigger one. The other ones sort of speak for themselves, but I'll be available to, um, you know, as you define the definitions of done, hopefully I did this well. If you have more questions, I'll stop talking and you guys can ask me, ask some questions so that this could get on to the uh, sprint backlog for you guys. Um, uh, and you can, uh, um, at least get that into the backlog for the sprint. Uh, the other ones will do the same exercise. I think those don't require this much work, but this was the one that everybody was focusing on. I got a lot of feedback. All right. So is the definition of a spike anytime you want to uh, research to, good question. to do something? Is yeah, good question. Oh, okay, so if you were to scroll down, Ria. Good question. I'm, I've answered that here. This is a definition of a spike. Those are the t things. It's, it's time box. Of course, we're doing this in the sprint. Um, it focuses on establishing the compatibility of the feature or, you know, um, it, it's, 
it's uh, um, the complexity. Um, it's not actually doing the work, like I mentioned, it's doing some research to attempt to solve something. Um, and so the, the note indicates that uh, um, it's just trying to identify the first piece of the puzzle. Um, then they have, um, you know, it says here that, you know, some of the answers you should be looking for from a spike are, you know, um, you know, is there documentation of these? Uh, so if we're going to do a comparison, look up the documentation of, uh, of various uh, sprint burn down chart type tools. Um, you know, so you'd have to research those so you could find out what their features are and how they benefit, uh, how complex they are. Um, does it integrate, you know, using the criteria that it gave you the, the you know, are they simple? Are they economical? Are they easier for us to implement, right? And so uh, does the development team understand uh, the core concepts of it, right? What is it gonna require to get it in integrated? Do the stakeholders understand what's required to get it integrated, right? And the stakeholders, yeah. one of the things we're concerned about is do we need to finance it, right? What What is the cost? So those are the, that's the definition of spike. And then I put it here, there's a good article on this, and it's not just, uh, we can break things down into spikes and then pilots and, and a minimal viable product and those kinds of things. So this author does a great job of defining those. And, so uh, they actually use that term, the spike. Yes, uh, it's so used that's very to be. So, uh, so are you just kind of going through the internet and looking up things in Scrum, Agile to, uh, or did you just kind of run across it? Yeah, now it's a curious to focus on terminology. I'm interested, I'm interested in um, reading more to get more detail about what a Scrum Master does. I feel like I have a very good understanding, um, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, when you get on the job and you're trying to actually lead the team and go through everything, you kind of want to make sure you've got all your I's dotted and okay. T's crossed, and you can actually do that, you know? Yeah. Mike, Go ahead. Can I add uh, something? Uh, can I add yeah. something? Yeah, I just uh, recently read a lot, and uh, many times when I like see some information, I have seen that the development team actually, they are responsible for taking care of um, the burn down chart. Am I right? Um, well, the, the breaking down the term development team, when I hear that, mm -hmm. um, I would uh, transfer that into um, Scrum language as the the Scrum team. Because remember, Sorry, the Scrum yeah. team plays a role and everybody in there is responsible for that. You, you Just like we're doing now, mm -hmm. you pick, usually the, you, the Scrum master will guide the development team on, because you want them to be self uh, managing, yeah, managed, right? Yeah. And so the coaching, just like this, you're t you're giving somebody an opportunity to get out of their comfort zone and and uh, drive the uh, Trello box because they haven't had an opportunity to do that. So the yeah. same thing with the the breakdown uh, or the Scrum backlog or the uh, the burn down chart is to uh -huh. you know somebody on the team picks to be the scribe. You get a you know uh -huh. and depending on the tool, you, they would drive it. Right, and they would put okay. in the numbers, and everybody would help each other get those numbers in. What I did also in in the cards is to help. So to answer that, that's hopefully that answers your question. I I have like kind of one small idea since everyone is very interested about like uh, these new tools which we can use and that's gonna help us to learn something new. Maybe uh, we can. Uh, assign this task to, task to somebody. I'm also very interested in this task and do some research. And when we meet in a person, uh, I'm talking about the meeting when we are planning to organize, we can kind of discuss more about this particular burnout chat and uh, how to use it based on the research which we will do with uh, this person in the team who is going to be assigned to this task. How do you think about this? I think that's a good like, for example, we do research and uh, learn as much as we can this 
uh, like kind of somebody who's going to assign to this task. And then when we meet in a person, we will all discuss as a team and like make sure that everyone understands and in the same like you know page about this burn down chapter. And it's fine. If you yeah just some small addition sorry. right it's an idea yeah and and um remember that you guys are self-directed teams if you want to make a uh more of a remember besides the stand-up right you can d decide to meet on a, a deliberate effort to uh, move a particular product backlog item forward this would be one that the whole team has a uh a part in in assisting the the yeah, there'll be an owner but the, it'd be assisting uh the that the rest of the team would be adding input to provide um uh, guidance to an individual this is those um uh, offline discussions that you have after your sprint so um marina with this the, the way this usually forms in my my image of how this would eat naturally occur your thought your idea was excellent um it's your first um uh, stand up um somebody would say where they are okay and maybe they've done some and they're they're going to start their investigation that's their commitment to the stand up and the next day they've done some investigation they have some things and um it might be a blocker because now i have 16 different options can someone help me narrow that down to help this blocker then that would be your suggestion would come up naturally let's uh, can some of the folks look at this stuff and see whether this is if i'm really thinking correctly is this i think these top five are the simplest can someone just go over my work and see whether that is or not and that's how that would naturally occur in the self-organizing in the environment how it worked so if you want to pick oh well we're meeting on wednesday in san francisco can we all talk about that right and that'll come as a natural process so um it's, it's good to like what you're doing is you're you're broadcasting an idea planting an idea and and that's fine so that that's something to think about um so that's how would i i'm hoping that kind of thing naturally occurs now if you guys are all um this is interesting. This is why I think it's sort of fascinating. It's almost like we're, we're discovering even more than we anticipated in this whole exercise because I'm reading up on a lot of books on startups and I'm hearing, you know, I'm hearing spikes. I'm hearing this authors are bringing up this, this term and there's other terms in this by guy's article. He brings up those five basic terms that we should all understand that makes us better because we're all if you like it or not we're all product managers we're all project managers we're all developers and programmers and engineers and right and um what we want to do best in this environment especially in the in, in the environment we are is to stack those talents okay. stacking them and so you, you don't have to be a, an expert in any of them but you could talk the language throughout your ecosystem of people that you you work with and this is an important, this is sort of that side product you get. And so I, that article is not very long. It's like a five minute. And uh, I, I just said, oh, let me pull up that article I saved because I knew someday it'd be of value. So here it is. And so um, I think it's an excellent way for us to break in. And I didn't think ahead of time, like I didn't know that Spike would be the solution here. It just came about because of the questions and the suggestions that were asked by the team. And this is how it works. Can I ask, um, in real life, using Tro or some other tool, if you have a, um, uh, a, a story in the backlog and it does morph into something that needs to happen before you can start and something that needs to happen while you're doing it and basically it's changing do you create another story for that part no, and then have would, another? yes and um that's where i get caught up and was suggested to me is write that down that's your story right right i'm having problems so, with this and and i have a question and your 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 audience is going to follow you and go 
I get that. That happens to me all the time. Okay. Right. And so it's tell them what's, live in the now, right? Okay. And write your process in the now. And then you have an excellent follow up. Is that the, your stories get easier and easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is how people write books, by the way. Um, one of the famous authors in Agile actually goes through an exercise on how he got this book started. That's his first chapter. I'll send it to you guys. It's, uh, yeah. it's one of the famous authors in, in the Agile industry. And he uses that, that scenario. You don't know what you don't know. And so as he gets into these things, uh, you start getting it. And, and uh, it's also helpful. So, okay. Great. So, so who would like to work on this uh, PBI? Let's maybe... While we have it up, yes. <laughs> huh? Guys, is any of you would like to work on this PBI? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm up for this. I'm interested in this one as well, but I also feel like the top one on the list, manual update of current volunteers, that includes the instructions for uh, instruction book for how to do it in the future. Um, should be me since I've done it. Um, so I'd love to. Uh, I don't know if I could play a supporting role in this one. Yeah, I can I ask, uh, um, good. Uh, Donald, what do you guys use where you are? Oh, we're using Asana. Sorry. The reason why we're using Asana <laughs> is because we got a little more of a budget and we are looking at ex uh, scaling really quickly. And um, it's based on a lot of other things. The the founder had already established a thing called, he, he bought a license for Microsoft 365. And we're looking for something that integrated with it really well with Slack and everything else. So we went with Asana. It's it, actually, you learned Trillo. I, I took the Asana boards and I just gave them the columns, the same call, the same title and so forth. So once you learn one, you can, you can easily adapt into others. So, uh, I might the, I might transfer I, to Asana. Who knows if we get some money? <laughs> <laughs> so what we have to do? We have to uh, assign yes. this task to to yourself here and add every less uh, second person who's gonna help yeah. you. I must admit, and, uh, I'm completely new to this. So yeah, it's on the right. I think you uh, above where was yes. Yeah, scroll uh -huh. up. Just scroll up. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm talking about this item, like... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, but... Uh, Questions. And, yeah, but uh, I don't mind going through that in detail uh, and then maybe trying to understand it much more. It's actually, um, it's actually not that complex. You're basically looking for uh, tools that are going to allow you to capture the data and help uh, that are that are not costing anything in a sense and be able to pull that data together to create to determine our burn down rate velocity you know all that kind of stuff yeah, um, let me give so, yeah and it should integrate into Trello, right As yeah a, yeah let yeah. me give you some something here um see in the custom fields you're showing down there so um no it's just scroll up it's right uh, below the com the uh, main yeah the custom fields, so uh, that's the effort the value, and the the burn down charge are based on that. So what's the nice thing with Trillo is, um, you could take these custom fields and integrate it with a tool that might integrate with Trillo. Uh, it's not going to kill us if we have to do a manual process at first just to transfer numbers from one because we're only dealing with five or six maybe at the maximum ten backlog items. So it's not going to be a really hard effort if it becomes manual. But if you could find something, like I said, remember the, the criteria. So you'll see if something integrates and integrates, and that would be probably another plus to that selection of that item. And that's how, does that help? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, I just have one additional question about this uh, item today. So the question is, we also need to let team know about uh, the research which we are going to do. How 
will like kind of will work. What do we think? What is the best idea? Uh, are you going to discuss it or are you, because basically one person or two person assigned to this team is going to do this research. How the rest of the team is going to know what is the best uh, like provide feedback and whatever. Right. Um, good question, Marina. The the way it would work is the two individual team members need to just to call out to the team for help if they need their input. The bottom line is um, I leave that up to the team to self-organize, to come up with uh, their, what they would think um, Dave and me as the product owner and the sponsor would um, approve. So the real, where the rubber meets the road of this is, you know, as you form, you, Marina, you're probably addressing how do we form that um, process of narrowing it down to something. Uh, I think that that's really important. Every project that the team sort of struggles with that, right? And then brings that up to the product owner. Now you could call me and ask me, <laughs> right? You can get offline. It's it's not off out of bounds it's to say we found some things. What is your input on that, right? So you're hedging. It's not a game. I was just you're just making sure that when we reach our our time box and we have that date. You, you determine how long your sprint is. We're all going to the focusing on by the time we get to the product review, we have something to present. And the product owners should be really know what to expect, right? There's no surprises. So there, it's just basically a formality just in case everybody, we get everybody's input. We, we want to learn from that. So I would say that um, what I'm envisioning is that somebody has, the team has acquired a list of three key tools that we can use. This is the reasons why. The key, the, the, the key here is the team's already bought into it because my product owner responsibility is to make sure you're using something that works for you and other people that will be coming in the program for you, like you. So it's really your decision and I'm just gonna test it to make sure uh, because I, I might, you know, and all of you, all of us, I'm just adding one tiny little piece of value because I, I may have some uh, understanding of what other people are struggling with that you might be blind to. Um, but hopefully that question's asked prior to the presentation. So the presentation is basically uh, demonstrating that we have the three and we pick this one at the top. And there might be, a, um, David might prefer something over uh, one over another, and then we accept it. And that's what we're gonna go with. So, so we don't have a definition of done in this card, at least I can, at least up in the description. So a definition of done might be a ranked list of top, the top three recommendations. Yeah, go to the top there. Yes, it's, it's in there. Uh, remember the definition spike is compare products. And then oh, I put in gonna, here, yeah, I guess. if you could replace that word sympathy to simple, <laughs> sim <laughs> it's, it's uh, simplify, right? Or sim just trying to make it simple, right? Now, are you it, guys aware, I, are you and David aware of tools? Is this just a uh, research exercise or do we really not have any in mind? Oh, um, we don't have any in mind. I've tried a few um, and they really sucked, bottom line. Um, they were more work than, than and, and, uh, trying to get it to fit. It, it just wasn't right. So I'm hoping that the, the someone could focus on that and um, dedicate some time in, in finding, you know, there's, there's tons, of, tons of them. If you go in, actually, um, Trillo has a whole list of um, other products that you can integrate with. Um, I'm trying to think, is this, they're called power-ups. Mm -hmm. And someone suggested one of the power-ups in there. So if you guys, if you guys want to, I can, I don't want to pull you guys away from this, but um, I'm actually looking at it. If, um, uh, Ria, if you go to the right in the Trillo box, there's the show menu. I just get out of this tool. You have to get out of this card. Go click save first. There you go. Yeah. 
And then so on the wanna... show menu, show menu. Right, sorry, sorry, Marina. Just give me one minute and I'll, I'll get off of this subject. You can move slow. Show menu. So Click on the that. Menu, the menu at the top on the right. Yeah, you're right where you're, yeah, on it says the top. Show. Right. My Zoom as uh, show. One more level yeah. down. There you go. There you yeah. go, the tab. And then you'll have power ups. Yeah. See the power ups. Um, these, just to warn you, these are people who have written, these are small little companies that have written little hacks that will integrate, but they charge you nickel and dime you for these particular things. And they're hoping that you would try it and then upgrade to a more sophisticated tool. I've tried all their basic um, uh, uh, first level um, uh, free versions and they always have some limitation. You know, it's like, oh, shoot, you know, it's something that you need that you're gonna have to pay for. So um, you could go here as a starter and you'll get an idea, and, but you go um, then do a search on Google and find other um, articles on the best of the uh, burn down chart uh, integrations. You could Google that in Trello and you'll come up with some other things. You could cross reference them and see, you know, ah, there's one in here, you know, that, that may have. Um, so if you could get these, these uh, tend to customize, they're built to integrate with Trello. Some integrate really well. Some provide you some nice features. Others don't. So just beware. You're gonna you're gonna run into some dogs. But um, that's the exercise. That's why it's here. We all you know we somebody has to spend some research time to to sort it out. But I think uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Ahead. I quickly yeah. just guys want to remind you we have 30 minutes and we have to. Yes. Uh, move forward uh, to brought with this IT who is going to be responsible right. for it. If we have any additional questions, do some notes exactly. and the cards and let's move forward. Sorry about exactly. that. Don't exactly. Okay. That's, okay. You're, yes. you're right on, Marina. And and just accept if you want it. You know, accept. I'm here. I'll, I'll provide that kind of guidance. If I could, though, um, I heard that there's one additional level uh required it's not just identifying them but also trying them out with trello and looking at see kind of like a feature comparison and ease of use and that would be the things. next that would be the next cycle because the spike is, the is just cycle? finding yes. so right now it's just identifying them but how would we know yes. 10 show we up how would we know we just we just don't. find the 10 Okay. Good, silly. Great question. You don't. We don't, and that's the whole beauty well, of I'm this. I'm just trying we to don't, determine the scope. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. We don't want it. The, we don't want the scope to be too big, so that we're going to okay. break it out. We we don't know. <laughs> we we may try in our next sprint, this stuff that's at the top, and run into something. We go, ah, that, this completely sucks. Let's go to item two. That'll be the next sprint, right? So it's. But I guess fine. my my point is that we're trying to learn. And if it's going to take us three or four sprints to actually learn how to use a burn down chart and get all that metric together and present it, that's a long time for us. Yeah, but, Is there a way that think we about can it, Sylvia. speed up the process, though? No, no. Think about it, Sylvia. Can that's we do it in an Excel spreadsheet no. until we find the tool? Um, it's, again, it's hypothetical. Every one of your, your statements are hypothetical. We don't know. And we could do it in a spreadsheet tool, but that spreadsheet tool might be 100 items, mm. right? Um, but uh, what I think, using a spreadsheet tool, Sylvia, to narrow it down to, to the items that you've been exposed to within the time box, because you can only do so much in so limited time. Right. There's your limit, there's your limit. So you, you do use that to categorize the features and functions. Uh, that's what I imagine to have at the end of the sprint review is a, a spreadsheet with all, it's a, it's a chart with all the little features and a checkbox. This one provides, you know, like when you try to get your security, um, your McAfee, you want packet, you know, the standard packet or advanced packet, something to that extent would help everybody see that, yes, you did the research and this is the ones with all the features that meets all the criteria. And then right. we go accept it, and then that'll be our next sprint is to try them, right? Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go. Let's move on. So, Any uh, other questions? Ria, 
Okay. Maybe you can assign April if April also wanted to work on this uh, um, PBI. April, are you good with it? Uh, Ria and I both, yeah. I mean, like, uh, Ria can do the main thing and you can, you know, help with some additional information. So, are we, are we good with uh, on this item? Can we yeah. move forward for the next one? Yeah, Marina, just uh, just a tip. This, uh, you guys, between uh, April and uh, Sylvia, right, our, uh, this April and Ria, just put on the top of the description the owner and, and backup, you know, so that you guys, people know, this, you know, the yeah. main... Right, I've, I found that to be helpful. Um, and so the projects that I have just. So the owner is, is, is myself? Yeah, since on top we have the members, hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so someone's gonna drive it, someone's gonna help the other person as a backup, right? So is that what you guys want to do? So, okay, so I updated as backup, right? Okay. Yes. And uh, Donald, it would also be helpful if you if you could share the the you know the ones that you thought were not useful as burn down charts, so that we could we wouldn't then look at those. I'll be happy to give you that. Yes, so you don't waste your time on it. I uh, my concern is I I may have overlooked something. <laughs> it might be simple, but the, I'll throw it in there. I just it, it's a warning. It's uh, one of them in there. It was just. It looks simple, but it was really complicated. It was a lot of just software that in there. Yes. Can I add something? Thank you. Can I add something? I see uh, we mentioned about um, Excel spreadsheet for now until we learn what is the best way. If you want uh, this uh, sprint, I can work on this uh, Excel sheet and like actually we will work all together. I will just start to do it and the uh, development team will add information in there. This way we will start to participate in learning. Is it okay. fine with yeah. everyone? Yeah, so I'll add that as another item, right? Then? No, you would just, <coughs> let me, Marina, the well, way I'm understanding it, so you, you're suggesting to attach an Excel spreadsheet to this card so that people can start entering their information? Yeah, just, just start to do something, just start to have um, this, and some experience when I, I don't know how to say in English in English. Just start to learn and practice. That's what, what I'm saying. Okay. While we're researching and thinking about what is the best thing to use in the future in future sprints, this print we can start with Excel uh, spreadsheet as Sylvia mentioned and uh, start to fill it up. This way all of us will understand, kind of get an idea how it works. Yeah. Um. Well, what I'm hearing so, is that spreadsheets also shareable so that folks could go in and add yeah, 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 yeah. on their own. Yeah, yeah. So I so could, just for example, put in that spreadsheet. Uh, this is the one that's on the low list because it doesn't, you know, maybe I could, that's my way of feedback to, and the whole team could see it. It's in one spot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so we had just, uh, yeah, I think we're done with this uh, PBI yep. and we can move forward for the April's one, which one April we mentioned here and she wanted to work on its first uh, PBI in the... All right, uh, so you can move that over into the backlog. This one. The, uh, oh, oh, one thing, Ria, before we don't forget, just move the the burn down customer using burn, yeah, put that in the backlog. Just oh. move it over. Oh. Yep. Done. Here. Here. You guys are on. <laughs> Can't move it back done. now. First done. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding, guys. So I worked on this um, on the last sprint. Um, and the addition for this sprint is to write a quick process for next time. Um, if somebody else wants to take this on, I'm happy to serve as support. Otherwise, um, I'm also happy to do this and write the um, instructions. I think what I would love to have, if that's the case, is um, to be able to reach out at some point to somebody and say, hey, I've written, or just to reach out to the group and say, I've written the instructions. Can somebody without, preferably without coding 
experience, test the instructions and see if they work. <laughs> Since I've got some experience already now and may have forgotten what I had, some of the pieces I had to learn to figure this out. Yeah, I'd be willing to test it out. Okay. All right. Cool. So you can put to April as the owner and um, was that uh, Sylvia as a tester? Sylvia as, as my tester. <laughs> okay. QA, QA. QA, yes. Yeah, yeah, QA yeah. On my instructions. Yeah. QA on my instructions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I can go for that. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. yep. close. Uh, members, 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 add members. Mm -hmm. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, the next is the um, Scrum Team Blogs. I know, uh, so I cannot. Last time, sorry, last time we said that we would put in a list of questions that people can use as a guide to writing their blog. Uh, and I said I would take this one. Uh, if anybody else wants it, you know, that's fine, but I, this looks like a good one for me. Sylvia, can I add, uh, yeah, you can take this PDI, but if it's possible and um, Scientica can help you with this IT, like a uh, backlog, it will be great because I remember she was mentioning she also wanted to work on this uh, PDI. If it's mm -hmm. fine with you and you can work together on this PDI. Okay, who else was it? Uh, Scientica. Scientica. She could, okay. she could not join it today, but uh, I remember she she mentioned for me before spring that she also wanted to help with this IT. And uh, we as a team, I think today we have to create a list of equations uh, to follow, yeah? like a checklist for the blog, mm -hmm. yeah, right? Okay, so, so let's, let's make sure that's part definition of done then, yeah. One blogger, sprints, other ideas, let's see. Where's the, um, okay, go ahead. Did I say that Sylvia will checklist. find? There it is, okay, I see it. I was just looking for the checklist as a definition and then as one of those items deliverables. It's in there, so we're good. But uh, as Sylvia is going to define the questions, uh, what if, uh, Sylvia, can you post your questions maybe on our Slack channel and we kind of discuss it or we can discuss it right now? This way all, all team is going to participate and uh, everyone is going to provide the feedback what is the best questions. Um, yeah, so as soon as I uh, think about it, look at it, um, I'll come up with a uh, Word document with all the questions that I can think of. I'll post it on Slack. Uh, and then if people, I guess that's how we're going to do it. And then people can uh, provide feedback. Well, and this one's actually so pretty quick. I could probably get it done today and post it. And, uh, you know, people can, whenever they... Uh, have time can take a look. So just assign members then, yeah, that owner of this PDA is Sylvia and the backlog is uh, going to be Scientica. Scientica. Uh -huh. So owner will be but Sylvia asked for the question. Uh, no, the the um, we're not writing a blog for this one. We're just coming up with guidelines for writing a blog, right? Yeah, maybe you should clarify the title then. Just guidelines for yeah. Scrum Team. So Scientica also wanted to work on the questions, is it? Okay. Yeah. And, and that's fine because it seems like the whole team will kind of work on the questions, right? As they give feedback, change this one, reword it, add to it, remove. Okay. Yeah, the more, the more I mean, the more feedback we have, the better questions we will come up with, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So is this right? Question framework for some Scrum team blogs. Uh, this is the survey will define the questions and share on Slack. Team to provide feedback. Owner survey and backup is Ayantika, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. And then how do you save before you? Oh, there is a save. Okay, didn't yeah. didn't catch that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I close this and. There you go. Yep. So this, I think, is related to, I mean, somewhat related to the previous one, right? It's a, another it's a, blog related exercise. And what it is, is it's just um, instead of writing a blog, uh, David suggests that we do comments to previous um, uh, posts, uh, just to add a comment to it. And it's sort of a, an extra way of getting some if you you know if you can't do a blog, at least you could comment type of thing. Given opening up the opportunity for the ability to get your name out there and persist participate, and at the same time you're added value because you're creating more content for our um, for our community. And that's well, all it is. Really is going out there, looking at what people have posted or blogged, and then giving our own feedback. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it a comment regarding what they've said, or is it yeah. our own experience in relation? Uh, your comment could uh, elaborate, yes, but it's just a comment mainly of what they said of some sort that adds value, right? And so is this an ongoing um, Yeah, item? we were hoping that this once this gets, this gets kicked off, it's just sort of to expose people to, to that opportunity they may, they may not be aware of because there's nothing there. People aren't putting any kind of responses to the blog posts. So it'll start showing up and then people go, oh, I, you know, I can comment to this. You know, we're, we're, so we're thinking that people just are not aware. Is it something that the whole team should take on for this sprint and everyone should be able to go in and at least respond once? Yeah, it's, um, in, in that regards, yes, it is. And if you think about it, it's an opportunity to build your velocity in a simple way because it's so it's such a small increment you can you can fit it in you know get yeah. get more yeah okay so owner equals team <laughs> yes. I, I still you know, team one owner. yeah it does require some time right it, it going in there and writing something so it does everyone on the team want to do one I think it's probably easier to get people to commit first. Uh, I'll do one. one. Okay. I do want to. Okay. And it's a great way to get started. Yeah, break the ice and get out there. Yeah. This is a great feedback. But it's just, from it's our, just on, it's but it's just on our Go website, ahead. right? Sorry, yes, sorry. Just, it's just yeah, on just our, our website. website. So anybody who comes in, so anybody who comes into the site will see it, but it's other than that, we're not really, we're not really um, advertising our site to the extent that we have a million people coming to the site, <laughs> no. right? No, yeah. but it's just, so it's just adding, kind of an internal. It's building kind of content. an internal thing. Okay. Yeah, it's an easy way for us to get. Yeah. Um, folks exposed on the, you know, our 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 our, uh, our team to get exposed to. Uh, a, it, you know, there's a small step in writing that. Uh, it's the easiest. Yeah, I mean, this is a great idea that came up based on our retrospective and our our backlog refinement, and it's just um, getting people involved right away. Something they can do that simple, right? Yeah. As value. Now, my question is, um, being the first time doing it, I'd like to write some, find one, respond to it, but post it first get everybody's feedback on it and then make it then publish it uh, yeah if okay? you wish to do that <clears throat> you can also um, edit any comments in, as an administrator so here's the, here's the thinking if you go to the website you open up an article that I wrote or that uh, Sayo wrote last week and um, it's, it's basically we want articles on the uh, membership blog right so it'd be Sayo specifically that's the only one the recent one we have comment to sayoa's experience and you'd say um and, and there's a comment uh, uh icon you could click on in sayoa's article that's what we're talking about 
Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Donald, just a clarification. So during the last print, I had mentioned that, you know, I, I sort of responsible for the sprints that I'm taking part in to ensure this is done. But do we need that person? Like, or, or is it can be the team? That you came in and out, uh, Ria. I sorry, I didn't hear the final conclusion of your question. Could you repeat oh, it? Yeah. No. So what I was, what I was, was so last for the last print, uh, I had suggested that this uh, be open for the upcoming sprints, and I could be responsible for this particular backlog item. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so, like for example, say, oh, uh, she wrote a blog, and. Right. Uh, we this feedback from all the volunteers in um, in the sprint. So, uh, so at that point, I mentioned that I would be responsible for this item. But do you see that required, or can this be just put? Yeah, in that in that regards, the system response to a comment won't work. It would probably be more like another article. Okay. So then we just keep everybody responsible, right? And yeah, then if you want to go that rate, then let's define that as such, and then we'll we'll put that as the, the deliverable. Then. So I say every uh, team member should have a comment of their experience. Something like that. Yeah, 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 and that will turn into an article, right? Right. Okay, so it's, it's a sort of a a, a supporting article. Right? So did, It'd be did independent. Change, did we change the scope versus commenting? We, commenting versus putting our own. Yes, and there's there's this case it would be uh, yeah we're we're now sort of changing the scope. Okay. Right. So then um, I, I um, will tr look into it, but I don't know if I can commit. Yeah, Sylvia, yeah. What you can do, <laughs> I don't know if we have time for it, but I'd love to put in another uh, backlog card that defines exactly what you want to do, Sylvia. Uh, no, no, just because, encourage we said, because my, my uh, story was to create a guideline for for writing that experience. Exactly, exactly. So, so keep that maybe in I'll, mind. Maybe I'll write my experience as I do it and, and right. see, you know, test out my questions, my, my guide, I'm, uh, and I'm then seeing, I'll be able to publish. Yeah. I'm seeing a, a sort of a, a distinction between just going off and posting a comment to a blog as opposed to having an effort of comments within the team as, right. a, as, a, as a, its own post, right? It's article. Uh, article is different than right. posting a comment to an article. So maybe that needs to be distinguished. But yes. I love to give people credit for both, right? So how do we do that? Maybe there's two distinct uh, cards in the backlog that we have that people yes. can pull from. I think these are like recurring. We can we'll always have this in the backlog uh, so right. that uh, one member within the every sprint can have an opportunity to write a blog or make a comment. So this is we're doing refining at the same time as everything else. So, but that's okay. This is what happens. But what we're going to do here right now is to add a comment to a previous blog post. It's an article gonna, that's going to have a series of comments. Is that correct? This is the way I understand it. Is that correct? It's an article of all the right. So. Um, so Ria, you'd be collecting comments from everybody, and you instead of putting it as a comment to Sayo's uh, article, it's just a general comment. Uh, it's going to make it easier, I think. Sayo, the design of this is to make it easier for uh, the member who's trying to write a blog. It's just another creative way of writing a blog by getting more participants in your article and getting them more recognition. 
Is that one of the, you know, what is the why to this? Yeah, I think uh, what, I, what I remember from when we had this discussion initially with, with David was that the whole point of this exercise was to encourage more volunteers. Like they come on the website, they see blogs from the past volunteers like us, and they get more to join the, 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 the so we could probably use what Sewa has written as a guideline and maybe write like a small paragraph of our experience. Yeah, okay. As the right, so this is a theme within an article of a post. It's the way I look at it. I, I hear it, you know, it's another creative way of, remember, a blog could be anything. Yeah, like, um, uh, yeah, but then uh, I think this uh, focuses on what our experience has been, right? Right. With this print. Another example of the, uh, I guess, the unlimited ways of writing. And this is just another way of yeah. adding content and yeah. uh, meeting those guidelines of may, uh, making sure the blog is something related to the user experience of the volunteer. Right, right. Yeah. And, and so it, we already have a sample on the website, which is Seora's blog. And right, we, could, we got one. Yeah, we got one. So the idea is to have many. So right. in this, hopefully by the end of Sprint 5, we will have uh, uh, maybe six or seven such uh, paragraphs, which right. we can compile together as a single blog. Like, okay. Yes. As there would be a paragraph at the end of it. it would say, oh, uh, and, uh, like that. Yes, and that was a solution based on a retrospective of uh, making this easier for volunteers so they don't have to be overwhelmed with a full article. They could just add some a piece and still get recognized. It's the best of both worlds. I think it's a great idea. Just a paragraph, yeah. Just a yeah. just three or four sentences or something. Yeah. And then Sylvia, that's just a, another method of, of writing, right? It's just another article type. Okay. Hey, All right, we'll go. Uh, I accept this, it that way. I just want to be a little bit disturb you and uh, let you know that we still have six minutes to go and uh, I need to go to work. So okay. I just want to say a goodbye. And Donald is going to uh, finish the meeting today. And we will inform you with the dates when next sprint number five is going to start soon on the VS Spring channel. Right, Donald? Right. Do you want to give them, a, 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 can we at least decide a three yeah. week or four week sprint right now? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I have like two, three minutes. Let's accept this. Um, Rhea, go ahead and put uh, assigned members in it and then we can close this move into the sprint backlog and i think this is let's be true to our time box this is all we're going to put in so should, should, I, should i put my name against compiler and put it on the website yeah okay yeah marina go ahead then we'll take care of that last item marina and then we'll 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 close the call so uh Excellent. We got we got we got a good things. We didn't get them all, but we got most of them. So we're good. Clarifying point: I know we need to stick to our time box, but I feel like we have one member who's here today who didn't. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so the thing what I wanted to say, we just quickly decide about uh, coming up sprint planning uh, or sprint, which is going to be like two, three or four weeks, how we decide. And then once I leave, you can uh, assign some items for Mohammed since you all have the time. I just yes. need to go to work, guys. And, uh, I'm right. okay with that. Okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, the, is it, the is sprint it, backlog we, we, isn't... Yeah, go ahead. Remember that Mohammed is also uh, like yes. need to choose some IT for himself and uh, what he's going to work on. So uh, my question is, our question is, uh, let's decide how long is going to be our spring number five. Since we have a lot of holidays coming in and most of us is going to be busy yeah, this time. So 
you need to decide with the start date of sprint number five and how long it will take for us, two, three weeks. What do you think about it? Also, um, uh, real quick, before you leave, do you guys want to get together next Wednesday, is it? Let's that, let Francisco? that be, yeah, that, that's going to be something that Marina will follow up with the team yeah, on yeah. Slack. Yeah, yeah, I, I, will, I, I will follow up. It looks like it, but it's it. not, yeah, but we'll, we'll narrow it down. So, uh, I just want to put out there that for me, it's really difficult being in San Jose to get to San Francisco, even though I drive, it's just the logistics are crazy between yeah, uh, timelines, uh, uh, when we yeah. leave, the weather. If I could drive with someone, if David's going, maybe he can. We can carpool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just so can there. you contact? Can you contact me about it later on Slack channel because I work in San Jose and I go to San Francisco all the time. We can decide it later. For now, okay. since we're all together here, let's uh, figure out our screen number five. When it's gonna start and okay. uh, how long will it take? What do you see? Sure. Uh, Donna, do we have to start it right away, or can we start it in January, for example? But yeah, we could. Start. We could have the. We could have the review in January, of uh, first week of, or second week of January. It's fine. So Sprint basically, review. I'm looking at calendar right now. What if we will start Monday, January six? That'd which be perfect. Is, uh, sort of a holiday, Russian, I think. Which is Russian Christmas. That's yes. <laughs> it's okay. So, okay, uh, then that'd be perfect. Wait, are as long we as you're okay with your using your vacation, that's fine. Your are holiday we for that. The sprint in January. We're we're gonna have the sprint. The this is the end of the sprint. It'll be a sprint review. Oh, okay. okay. January sixth. That tells you the time box of your sprint. Is it ends on January sixth. So that's what we're proposing: is ending the sprint through the sprint review on January 6th. So your sprint duration will be from this, when you start tomorrow to the uh, January 6th. I, I don't think that uh, people can make it uh, like Christmas and uh, New Year, like it's kind of crazy for me. Marina was proposing starting January 6th. I was, yeah, I was proposing to start. Start the sprint? Oh, okay. All right, um, that would be fine. Um, it depends on the, the eagerness of the team. Let's do this. We're down to a minute. So uh, let's put that as I'm open for it. It's okay. Propose it on Slack and see if people agree. If anyone wants to do it earlier, then... Um, and uh, how long is going to be our sprint? Is it fine uh, to have it as we usually do for two weeks? Yeah, um, it would be two weeks at that point because everybody would be back, back in normal mode. You know? So that and would be a good suggestion. And before this, we can figure out with our in-person meeting, and uh, I will contact you via Slack channel. What do you think uh, next week is going to work for you guys if you figure out this, uh, the way how we can get to San Francisco or something? Is next week work for meeting in person? So I will uh, send you Doodle, Doodle survey and we can choose a date and time, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, uh, I will contact you about how to get to San Francisco. If we right, can make so, it later or early in the morning. So, yeah, so I, um go ahead. Uh, so I can take you I can take you to San Francisco. I can do that. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. You guys are wonderful. Um just to let you know, the, the backlog is still open because we aren't gonna start the sprint until the sixth, so it gives you guys 